Hi guys, my name is Yurana Chi and welcome to my channel. Today I have very quick, fast uh, editing tutorial for you, uh, just to show maybe a quick tip that I sometimes use and maybe you'll find it useful as well. So this is the image that today I'm going to be showing um, how to enhance and this is a final edit and I love everything about it. Uh, it seems a nice portrait but what I miss here is a little bit of depth. So it looks a little bit flat to me. And there is a way, a very quick way to add more that highlights and um, shadows uh, dynamic range. So that's how I'm going to do that. Uh, so if you have an adjustment board, then you can just press here to gradient map. That's what we're going to be using. If you don't have it, then you can just go here down here and just press and the second from the end will be gradient map. Just press there. So first gradient that usually you're going to see is the black and white one. If not, just select the black and white so your picture will turn black and white. And then just hit OK. So this 50% done already. Next, we will just go to blending mode and just choose overlay. So the overlay mode will enhance uh, highlights and enhance the shadows as well. So you see it's super uh, contrast right now. Of course, we are not going to leave it this way. Now we are just going to lower the opacity to... You will be doing it depending on the picture, depending on the effect that you want to do. So I think maybe something like 20%, um, 26%. So this is the before and this is the after, maybe a little bit lower. Okay, so now you can see the effect already entirely different. There is more dynamic range there. Now, one more thing that I would like to show you. For example, what will say that you want to increase highlights, but you don't want that this effect affect your shadows. So you don't want your shadows get even darker. So double click on the gradient map layer and you will going to get the layers, uh, layer style window and we're going to be working with blend if. So for example, here, let's say I want to leave highlights, but I don't want this effect on the shadows. So on the second bar, I will going to remove this cursor. I will remove it from the blacks and then I will hit the alt on my keyboard and just split it to make more gradient tra transition just because if you will not split it keep attention do you see here uh, there is just this weird border that just does not look good at all also on the face it's just like this weird shadows so to split we'll split it to create the smoother transition just like so And of course, depend on your image, let's hit OK. And now we will see the before and the after. You can see only the highlights were affected. The same goes, let's say, from um, for the shadows, right? Let's say you don't want the highlights to be affected. You just want shadows to be get darker. So the same matter, we will just remove it from the highlights and again, Hold Alt on your keyboard and split it to create that smooth transition. And hit OK. And now let's see the before and the after. All the highlights stay the same, but our shadows and darks get much, much darker. So basically here is the whole trick. It's very simple. It takes probably 10 seconds without explanation and I think it's very neat and it's very easy and simple so hopefully you enjoyed it let me know if it's been useful for you thumbs up to this video and please share if you want to share the knowledge subscribe to this channel for more new interesting um, tutorials and of course the more you subscribe the more it motivates me to create more let me know if you have some ideas for the future videos and if you want to see more of my work please follow me on Instagram. It's at Yurenachi underscore photo and hopefully see you next time. Bye!